And also, we're going to be moving on to Scholar Level 70 Guide really quickly so I can jump through these guides as fast as possible. At level 62, we get Excogitation, if that is how you pronounce that. Uh, grant self for a target party member or self, Excogitation, uh, restoring HP when member's HP falls below 5% or upon the effect's duration of expiration. Uh, with a cure potency of 800, duration of 45 seconds, it is instant cast with also a 45 second off global cooldown. This requires a uh, Aether Flow gauge. Now go ahead and put that Aether Flow on. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cast your Alloquium and on the tank, and then you're going to cast this guy on the tank as well. Uh, basically, this guy is going to have the most amount of uh, potency heal. Uh, this deals this heals 800. Uh, Lustrate heals 600, and uh, your emergency tactics along with Alloquium heals a total of 675. So this guy sometimes may not pop. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny how this thing is supposed to pop because uh, some tanks grab a, a ridiculous amount but some tanks also heal themselves and the pet also makes sure that they stay healthy uh, on top of that they have a shield and that's what it looks like if it expires uh, it sometimes this does not pop and you definitely want this popping because that's 800 potency heal but sometimes this does not pop so go ahead and just look for, look out for that animation that you just saw there anytime you see that just go ahead and reapply your excogitation on the target at level 64 we get broil mastery 2 upgrades broil to broil 2 and increases the potency of ruin 2 to 180 and as well, level 64, we get Bro uh, Broil 2, deals magic damage to the potency of 260 with a spell globe cooldown. At level 66, we get Chain Stratagem, increases the critical hit percent chance by 10%, duration of 15 seconds. It is instant cast with 120 second off global cooldown. If it's a boss or a single target, just go ahead and pop this. If it's a target within a, a large group, especially if it's going to be a large group, go ahead and just go use this on the biggest mob you see uh, but if it is a large group you can go ahead and do something like a, a chain stratagem into a target focus one uh, pretty much increasing all damage done to this target by means of uh, increasing the the chances of a critical hit landing and finally level 70 we get aether pact uh, orders fairy to execute fey union with a target party member typically with a tank uh, effect ends upon reuse. Your fairy gauge cost of 10 and the fairy gauge uh, increases when a fairy or uh, your seraph later on is summoned and an aether flow action is successfully uh, executed while in combat. By aether flow action it can be uh, it can be lustrate, it can be excognitation, a sacred soil, you get the idea. Now make sure while you're using the fey union that you that you used your fairy's abilities first because once you've activated this guy and the fairy has uh, tethered to yourself if you cast a fairy ability this will actually cancel it now the fey union itself uh, gradually restores hp of party members with which the fairy has a fey union cure potency of 400 the, the, the ability itself, uh, the healing ticks away every three seconds, uh, but the healing itself, uh, basically any time the, the target gets healed, you will lose the 10 uh, fairy gauge any time the target is healed. So we have 60, we just got healed, so we lost 10, we just got healed again, so we're at 40, etc. So as a recap for uh, Scholar of the 70, the first thing that I want to get to is your excogitation. Uh, if your target is below 50% health and you use this guy on the target, it will actually heal them immediately. It will act as a 800 potency heal uh, free of charge. It only costs your Aether Flow uh, and it will just completely skip the entire uh, the entire abilities, uh, you know, duration, animation, and, and etc. It will just heal them straight up. As you can see it there. Chain Stratagem is basically used anytime your tank starts to pull. Uh, typically after the tank pulls, they're going to have most of their abilities ready to go. And the rest of your party members will have quite a bit of their abilities as well in terms of DPS rotations. So as soon as you get this guy out, the better. 
And finally, your Aether Pact. The Aether Pact potency is 400. It is strong enough for you to actually not need to worry about too much. Uh, the only issue is the tank most most unlikely is going to move around quite a bit. And if they go too far away, it's typically going to be 20 to 30. Fifth, I think it's 15 to 20 uh, yams of radi uh, uh, range is from the, the the tether to the tank or the pet's tether to the tank. If, if they go any further than that, the pet will obviously uh, snap the tether. Uh, I'm not entirely too sure if, if the pet actually goes back, but I will show you in a dungeon example uh, or at least try to show you. But in most cases, you can go ahead and just reapply the tether. Uh, just like I mentioned before, the Whispering Dawn and the Fey Illumination, uh, just make sure you have those on cooldown before you toss the tether because uh, by using the abilities, just like I mentioned earlier, it's going to cancel that tether. And if you don't remember to reapply the, the, the tether itself, you're just going to have useless, uh, 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 a full fairy uh, gauge that's literally just going to sit there, be useless all the time. Uh, and on top of that, that's going to be uh, freeing up a lot of your uh, your DPS rotation, letting you actually do a lot of damage because the, the fairy is being used for what it's intended to be used, which is healing. So for the Scholar of the Level 70, let's see what dungeon we're in. So the main focus, the main the main concern for level 70 is excognitation or excogitation. Let's see what dungeon we are in. The Gimlet Dark. So as soon as we enter combat, let's go ahead and put that excogitation on the tank. We summon the fairy and then pop sprint. Let's do swift cast. Swift cast. Okay. Let's put my chain on a target. Whispering Dawn. Bay Illumination. Illustrate the tank. Pop things like Lucid Dreaming while you're at it. All right, good stuff. Let's move on. So yeah, just just swap around. Make sure you don't blow off all of your cooldowns immediately. Save some of it because uh, the the healing, the potency healing on the on the scholar is is very precise and very limited. Let's pop that sprint here. I'm gonna put Xcog on the tank, and I'm just gonna stay near the tank. So just in case he needs to grab aggro away from me. Okay, so we're nearing the, the pool end here. I'm going to pop my swift gas, put DOS on three targets. I'm going to pop cooldowns when I'm doing it. I'm going to put that shield on him. Let's start spamming my Art of War. Bay Illumination, Lustrate. Let's put my Aether Pack on a tank. Since I have no pet abilities, we might need to illustrate again, but it looks like he's handling. He's, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. I'm going to put... I'm going to put um, my deployment tactics on myself, actually, because the tank's just going to take off. Let's use deployment tactics, because this boss likes to do quite a bit of AOE damage, like that nit that nitro spin. Let's reapply that X cog on the tank. Okay, so he's going to do. Yeah, we need to move out of the way of that. Let's put a shield on the tank again. Dots. Just make sure you're using your Aether Flows. Let's 
probably a, a, a pretty damn good um, a pretty damn good strategy to do. I have dissipation, so I can be a little bit more aggressive with my aether flows here. I just spin. Freezing missile. It's kind of a waste of my chain, but so that was a good time to use emergency tactics, mostly because you needed to actually heal there, but it gave my tank a shield. So it's not a complete waste. Let's reapply that. That's a tank buster. I don't want him to pop his uh, XCOG right now. I want to actually keep doing damage. I think that should do it. Yeah, that's good. Alright, this has been uh, Scala up to level 70. That should give you kind of a, a of a good idea as how to play Scholar. I didn't use my my fairy gauge there much because the the healing wasn't really necessary, so I just kept focusing on damage. And as always, we'll see you guys next time for our level 80 guide.